Hi, I'm Francine Melfer, licensed massage therapist and personal trainer and owner of Tuning Fork Therapy. Today I want to share with you one of the great things that I offer on my website. It's called the Tune-Up Kit, Science Sensors Activity Kit. This is a great way for you to find out and learn more about tuning forks, sound waves, and things like that in a scientific manner. Inside the kit you'll have several little items. You'll have a little plastic tube. You're going to have a plastic cup, a little block of wood, some activity cards which are really great for teaching for yourself and for others. And you're also going to get the 512 Hertz tuning fork which is the C tuning fork. What we're going to do is first talk about some things that you can do. And the first thing is we're going to activate our fork. So go ahead and use your block of wood and it's real important to learn how to, to activate your fork correctly. First, make sure you're holding it halfway down and not all the way up or down on the handle. So just like this, halfway. On your block of wood, I want you to line your fork up. I don't want to see flat. That's not going to work. So lap, go ahead and line it up and give it a little gentle whack. You want to hold the fork so it doesn't fall out of your hands but not too tight where it won't vibrate. So using two little fingers, your thumb and index, go ahead, nice gentle little karate chop. See? Very good. Go ahead and stop that if you want. Feel and listen to the vibration. When we hold the tuning fork up to our ear, what's happening is, is it's sending a signal to the auditory nerve in our ear. That nerve is then will send an electrical signal to our brain. Once there, our brain interprets this electrical signal as a message that we are then able to process. And what that means is our brain is able to decide what it is we're hearing. Are we hearing a baby crying? Are we hearing music? Are we hearing a car crashing? There are literally thousands upon thousands of sounds little sound notes that our ears can not only identify but then associate with. So that's very a remarkable, it's an amazing accomplishment. When we talk about sound waves in general, what happens is when the fork vibrates all around the tuning fork are air molecules and they're vibrating back and forth even if your eye doesn't see it. And it's pushing these air molecules away from the center. And this is like, much like, have you ever stood on a, on a bank of a water or a lake and then just tossed a stone in or skipped a stone? And you'll see like it jumps and there's a puddle. The puddle gets bigger and bigger when you plop that stone in. That's the way sound waves look. They start from a small center and grow and grow and grow outwardly. It's really amazing. In fact, all forms of energy are actually travel in waves. Think of radio waves. When you talk about vibrations, feel your throat. Go ahead and put your finger gently on your throat as you're talking. Your vocal cords vibrate. This is how sound is produced even in your own throat. Now watch what happens when you hum. Go ahead and hum. And what I want you to do is now open your mouth and close it. Hear the difference of that happening? That's called resonance. Now resonance is actually nothing more than an echo or a resounding of the sound. We have a box here that your kit comes in, which are, is available on my website actually. And so go ahead, activate your fork and see what happens when you go ahead and close the box you'll hear it so slightly activating and changing. Let me do it again. This will actually amplify the sound. Amplify means nothing more than to increase. So we can actually increase what we hear by that. Another way to show you vibration is we activate and use a little cup And not only will the activation move the cup, but it actually makes a noise. 
it's a lot of fun. I'm going to try to do something a little closer up for you in a moment. Let's do it one more time. <laughs> 